Okay, here we are back with our original diagram. Um, now I'm going to go over the um, electrophysiology of the heart. A couple of circulations, all labelled, deoxygenated, oxygenated, etc., etc. So as far as the electrophysiology is concerned, this starts with a node, which is about here. It's a collection of tissue. You can't see this t this when you dissect the heart. Um, you you know you can't you you won't see a big orange thing, but there's a group of cells which act differently to most of the surrounding tissues and this is a node so here we have it it's known as the SA node, the sinoatrial node it's in the atria uh, presumably in an area called the sinus that's the name the other one's a lot more easy to remember most of the books depict it as being around here and that is the atrioventricular node. Makes perfect sense because here we have an atrium, the right atrium. Here we have the ventricle, the right ventricle. So atrioventricular node, AV node. Makes perfect sense. Right, so now I'm going to show you how the, the electrical impulse is conducted, the route it takes through the heart. So the impulse starts at the SA node. It will travel round, depolarizing the atria. There's a band of tissue that goes around the back of the heart, so you, I'm kind of panning it faintly. Goes around the back and will depolarize the left atrium. So when the atria are depolarized, obviously the blood is forced out of the atria into the ventricles. The impulse is slowed down in the AV node. It's slowed down so that you don't have an overlap between atrial and ventricular contraction. I think of the AV node as a turnstile which slows the impulse as it goes through. And when the impulse does go through it goes into the interventricular um, septum into a structure known as the bundle of his. The bundle of his splits into the left and right bundle branches which go down the interventricular septum depolarizing the muscle causing it all to contract at the bottom it then splits off and comes up the ventricle walls either side in the Purkinje fibers so a quick review SA node fires off Impulse travels around the back of the heart to the left atria, at the same time travels through the right atrium to the AV node. It's slowed down. This impulse depolarizes the left atrium. That's, as far as we're concerned, finished. But this impulse, after depolarizing the right atrium, travels into the bundle of his, down the interventricular, sender, um, interventricular septum through the left and right bundle branches, and up the Purkinje fibers. So, a heartbeat would be boom 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 atria ventricles atria contraction ventricular contraction so it basically works something like that and um, the only other thing that uh, I suppose I'll mention is that there is a small band of tissue going through here containing an extra bit of electroconductive cells. And this is known as the moderator band. Um, that brings to a close um, the electrophysiology. Um, I really can't think of anything else to mention um, without getting too complicated. So I hope that's helpful.